get a lot of questions uh, when people buy their PBS 14s about what kind of accessories they're going to need for them, or even about the accessories that come with them. So we'll we'll start with the accessories that come with the system. When you get a PBS 14, you're going to see that it's going to come with a flexible rubber eye cup. Uh, that eye cup is detachable. It's just a friction mount, so it will mount to the back. It's a press-on feature. You can roll it so that it will either fit the shape of your face on this side, or you can roll it if you're shooting it left eye or right eye dominant, depending on what you are. So the eye cup is nothing more than a seal for the system. Now, if you live in a place where it's hot and humid, sealing this thing to your face is going to cause some, some uh, fogging issues, so you may want to think about using some kind of an anti-fog compound on your lenses. Uh, rolling around to the front, we'll see that it also comes with an objective lens cover. That objective lens cover has got a very small hole in the center of it. That hole is to let a, just a little bit of light up in and allow you to function check your system in the daylight without taking any a chance of damaging it. So again, that's the front and rear. You'll also get a, an accessory pack, uh, typically, that comes with your system, or at least they come with the, uh, the uh, Night Enforcer systems and the TNB systems. Uh, inside you'll find that you'll have a manual, some optical cleaning paper, batteries, and what we'll you'll also find are these two pieces. This is a sacrificial window, and it goes on the front objective. It's nothing more than just to protect the glass. It's a sacrificial piece of plastic that won't interfere with you using the system, but it'll protect that front lens. And then on the back, it's got a demist shield. This demist shield is a press-in feature. It's just friction fits. So where this one friction fits over, this one friction fits inside. And what that's going to do is if you do live in one of those areas where you've got a lot of humidity or you're operating it where you're sweating a lot, uh, you're going to find that the DMIS shield helps quite a bit. And it also acts to protect the rear window as well, so it's a little bit of a protective factor as well. So those are the things that are going to come with your system. Now, um, depending on the kind of system you buy, the U.S. military systems come with this device. This device is a compass. So what it does is it puts into your viewing area a uh, directional compass system and when you press the button on the bottom it will actually put whatever the cardinal direction that you're pushing in and the, and the degree direction will actually be viewable through the ocular lens so um, this will come in the military kit in the military kit will also come a USGI mount so that you can mount this directly to your rifle behind uh, one of the US military type optics so those are some of the things that come in a different kit now, beyond that, uh, we get a lot of questions about uh, aftermarket accessories, things that are going to help you get more out of your system. So probably uh, one of the more popular items is the amber filter. This is a Wilcox amber filter. It's designed to go on the rear of your PVS-14. So you remove your eye cup, and the PVS-14 uh, amber filter will go on the rear. Now, it does a couple of different things. This, this filter is actually going to change the image color that you see with your eye from a very bright green to more of a dull orangish brown color. That's going to help you uh, develop a little more contrast through that uh, viewer and it's also going to eliminate a lot of the back scatter that is pushed back towards your eye or in other words the light, the green light that's reflected against your face. This will reduce a lot of that so from a tactical consideration this is a nice feature as well. So again that's the Wilcox Amber filter. Now when we move back to the front or the objective lens, um, a real popular device is the refocus ring, the RFR. The RFR is again a friction fit device. It will come with a rubber band. You can put that rubber band over your objective lens and then this will friction clamp on over top. And what it does is it pivots. So it comes up and it will lay flat across the top of your objective lens and when you want to use it, it folds back down. This serves the purpose of instead of having to refocus the objective lens every time you want to scoot into a, a shorter focus to like read a map, read a GPS, work on a patient, set a door charge, whatever it is you're doing, you know, depending on what your job is. It allows you to rapidly just flip the lens down and that lens will then refocus everything into about arm's length distance, just inside of that. And so everything within that distance becomes in perfect focus when you're done working at whatever you want or if for some reason a threat came up or you needed to continue on with whatever it was you're doing, you flip the lens up and when the lens goes back up it's unobtrusive, it's out of the way and now everything's focused out of engagement distance. So again that's the RFR, the refocus ring, it's a real popular item as well. Another one that uh, a lot of people will do is instead of using the sacrificial window that comes with the system which again friction fits over top very similar to the way the cap works 
it friction fits on. A lot of people will buy the Wilcox uh, sacrificial window filter and what it does is it threads inside. So it's a little less obtrusive and it's a little truer fit and it actually gives you, since it's made of metal, it gives you a little bit of impact resistance and bump resistance on this front end because it extends it just a little bit. Now, a lot of guys, when they're trying to run a refocus ring, realize that now that you've extended this distance and you've made this a little smaller, it's a, it's a little more difficult to get this to work. Use your rubber bands that are included. Make sure you use those to friction fit and that will help you. What you can't do is now seat this all the way back like you normally would be able to. It will actually sit a little farther out. But you can still use an RFR with the Wilcox uh, sacrificial lens. You just got to kind of change the way you do it a little bit. So those are some of the, some of the options that you can uh, accessorize with. Now, another thing that you can do is camera mounts. Again, PBS 14s are super flexible systems, which is really nice. So a lot of folks want to do photography through theirs, whether that's doing surveillance with law enforcement or military, or just enthusiasts that want to take pictures of animals at night or, or security on their property, whatever it is you want to do. There's a couple of different options you can do that with. Um, one of those options is the camera adapter. The camera adapter is probably one of the better uh, and easier to use systems that you can get. And what it is, is it's a, it's a three-piece ring system. It's got a lock ring and it's got uh, two half moons. Those half moons fit on the back, so you remove your rubber eyepiece, put your ring on, the two half moons fit right down over this uh, eye cup retainer and when you get it back you take that lock ring, slide it up and that locks that camera adapter into place. Now what that does is it gives you an external thread diameter of 46 millimeters. That 46 millimeter thread diameter can now you can go to any Photoshop like Wolf Camera, whatever the camera shop is in your area and you can buy step up and step down rings. So if you take a look at your camera on the front of it, for instance we use it on this same camera that we're videoing these with, it's got uh, a threaded objective lens and all you do is find the right step up or step down ring from 46 millimeters um, and you screw that on and then that screws straight into the front of your camera. Now when you use those you do have to focus the camera and sometimes focus the objective and diopter lens but once you get it all set uh, depending on what kind of camera you have, sometimes the autofocus will work, sometimes you just manual focus as you change, as you change uh, distance. Now, another option for cameras is uh, this camera adapter. It's a monocam, monocam camera adapter. Now, these are specifically designed for specific models of Olympus pocket cameras. They work fantastic. They take great pictures, but you do have to be cautious and realize that there is a specific camera that matches this. You can't buy this and use it with just any camera. But in the right combination, it works very, very well. And what it does is it fits on the back of the lens. So if you look, it's got a, it's got a monolock system that will attach to the back of the camera system. And when that locks on, the camera now slides in. And that camera has the ability to take pictures through the PVS system. Again, that's the monolock system, really useful system, uh, real handy to use. And then, of course, you also still have a, a nice pocket camera that you can use for daytime pictures. So that's a real nice thing. Um, probably one of the more popular items, too, that we have uh, that's, that's used uh, quite often in the military and uh, Border Patrol agents, things like that, use it. But even if you just want to do some long-distance surveying of some, some uh, property, is the USGI 3X lens. Uh, it's a specialized glass that will allow transmission of IR light, so it's not going to degrade your image quality much, but what it is going to do is it's going to amplify or magnify everything by three times. So it allows you to be in a, in a single static position and look out over a greater distance or be able to see greater detail at distance. It has two ways that it works. Uh, when you pop off the end, it's got a friction mount here that's on a that's on a ring and all that does is press onto the lens and you'll feel it it's an audible click and then you can feel the pressure and once it is it's locked on now this can be used in the handheld roll to do surveillance it works great on a tripod if you want to set it up that way they also make a 5x variant but it's a really huge lens now that's if you want to use it on and off so you're transitioning from from handheld to use and magnified to non-magnified 
If you want to do it in a more permanent roll, you can take this adapter, screw it off of there, and then this thread pattern is just like the Wilcox sacrificial lens we looked at, and it will thread directly into the internals of the PVS-14 lens. Also works on PVS-7s or any of them that use these ground base ocular lenses. And now you have a more permanent configuration, a little less bulky. And this is if you are more going to be in a static location for a long time just doing surveillance. You might want to permanently attach it. It's a little stronger attachment and a little easier to use. So again, that's just some of the accoutrements, accessories that are going to be able you know, to, to be used with your PVS-14. And again, in our other video, we talked about the importance of having a military-style body housing on your PVS-14. Because again, all of these are designed to be used with that specific type, which is again like the 95% that are out there. So uh, just some more information for you to have. And I hope that was informative. Check our website and uh, look at all the different kind of accessories we have. Thanks.